What is up YouTube, it is your boy Terrell Payne and today we are coming at you with a very special video. We as in me and Limitless Hate, or Limitless Hate and I if you want to be fucking proper about it, fuck you. No, Whatever. I don't really. <laughs> yeah, but today we're coming at you with a special video. I have hit 7,000 subscribers, or actually I'm 10 subscribers away at doing this video if you really want to be precise about it. I think that calls for a Pinkie Pie party, but I mean that's the me. The fuck is a Pinkie Pie? <laughs> But yeah, we're going to sit here and do another Q&A for y'all people. If y'all seen our last ones, y'all know how it goes. We're just going to sit back. He's going to ask the questions that y'all asked from Twitter and YouTube. And uh, yeah, it probably will take two hours. <laughs> y'all know my long drawn out answers. <laughs> ramble, ramble. Y'all know how it is. But yeah, we're about to jump off this shit. Go ahead, take it over. Hey, do what you do, bro. Word. All right, to See start off mother. with. Wait, what? Never mind. Whatever. Fuck I you. Said, I said word to your mother. No. Oh, word to your moms that came to drop bombs that got more rhymes than the Bible's got psalms. Moving right along. Go ninja, go ninja, go. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Knife Happy opens with the first question. He wants to know, you getting Titanfall on your PC, or do the Titans have to be in fucking spandex surrounded by breakable tables? <laughs> You know, if that, if that, I mean, I would have pre ordered that game such a long time ago if it would have been. <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly, I hope it does well and everything, and I would like to get it, but first I'm going to wait and see what all the, see what everybody says about it, let it be out for a little while. Make sure the game's not all glitchy as shit, you know. Yeah, I've already, like, I've already paid for um, South Park to stick a truth, so that's like, that's all I game purchased for the beginning of March, so you don't really need to spend another 60 bones right off the back with another video game, but, um, I hope it does well. If it does do well, everybody fucking is like, loves it and everything. Which people said it was good for the beta. I might pick it up if Hate wants to pick it up too. I Depends. do want it, but again, 65 bones is kind of a lot to wager on a game like that that may or may not be glitchy as shit or not have any players on the PC or, you know. Yeah, we just we just wait. We'll wait and see what actually happens and see you know and go from there. And again, we're used to Steam getting a bunch of deals, man. We don't really pay sixty bones for games. Come on now. No, not really. <laughs> is, I think South that Park is so two thousand five. South Park is the third or fourth game that I no, I think it's the third game that I've paid full price for on PC. It's Saints Row Four, COD Ghost, which was a horrible purchase, yeah. <laughs> just because it's dead. And yeah, South Park. I think yeah, whatever. But yeah, hopefully it does well. And if it actually had spandex surrounded by tables, that's fucking awesome. Flaming fucking <laughs> tables. Flaming tables, man. <laughs> Flaming tables and jetpack spandex. <laughs> Young but Jay yeah. asks, how do you think your life would be if you never started gaming or doing YouTube? Dude, the world would have ended. Probably. It's plain and simple, the world would have ended. <laughs> um, you don't know this, but I Terrible Pain videos save the world. <laughs> yeah. Save the cheerleader, save the world, or some shit. <laughs> Play wrestling, save the world. <laughs> um, if I never started gaming, that would be kind of different because I've been gaming since I was like, I kind of, so I can fucking remember. <laughs> what the hell? So would I was you, in the womb, son. Would you do? I think you'd be like a pyro or something, or you'd actually be out there like scalping motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm like, so gaming. bored. I'm just gonna like come into your home and counting coup you while you fucking sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, for real. Now, as far as doing YouTube, let's say I'm still fucking doing video games too, and YouTube, oh, yeah, nothing I can still would change. Oh, yeah, totally still me scalping people in their sleep. <laughs> be like the unknown scalper man. I don't know. Regardless, if I was doing YouTube, I still like doing games and all that shit. Um, fucking, I don't know. I would still be on the internet fucking with shit at nowadays. I don't know. You really know YouTube is what made me build a badass computer, so maybe I wouldn't be on the internet now. Because you remember me about it before I had YouTube and shit? Yeah. Fucking, I, before I just he had cable. A computer. He didn't really <laughs> yeah. have a computer. He had a potato. Not even, I could care less about the internet then, too, you know? That's the yeah. YouTube has actually got me into a lot of stuff that I probably wouldn't have been to and shit like that. Then fucking. Then being able to actually talk to some of these wrestlers and get interviews and all that stuff, that's, that's because of YouTube. I, I, didn't, I, I started Twitter because of YouTube. Because <laughs> my friends like, dude, you're doing YouTube. Well, you need to do some social media stuff and blah, blah, blah. A lot of shit would be different, huh, bro? But as far as gaming, the world would have died. <laughs> yeah, pretty much would have had to. I mean, it was a consequence of the age we me, grew up me in. Me playing Fester's Quest at eight years old saved the world. I'm sorry. I just <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we'll go I with that. I was. <laughs> Weirder shit has happened. The target is playing the game. Repeat, he's playing <laughs> Fester's Quest. Call off Kill the dogs. Target. <laughs> Deactivate the silos. It's all over. You can go home. The real question is, how would my life would be if I never would have ate sunflower seeds? Oh, fuck. <laughs> the David Sunflower Seed oh, Company would have folded. Humbra, for real. 
the David and the Frito Lay sunflower seed. But not necessarily David or Frito. So it's not me to seeds. I'm serious. I think I'm the only one who buys them from our playlist up here. That's our closest grocery store's playlist. It's not a shoe store. <laughs> <laughs> it's an associated it grocer for those of y'all who live in the south. I imagine I buy like I'm the only person like I, I, I spend so much money on seeds. It's, it's ridiculous. I mean, I'm addicted to them. I can say that. Babe, but if there's if anything to be addicted to. Nuts ain't that bad. <laughs> Do we have any scientists in the audience? Can you find out if there's any like psychologically addictive substances inside sunflower seeds? Because I think we got a lawsuit going here. <laughs> it's like small traces of LSD and barbecue Frito Lay's. <laughs> <laughs> Bet you can't eat just one bag. And again, people, y'all should know us by now. <laughs> Don't do drugs <laughs> intentionally. Get them through your seeds. <laughs> yeah, do them accidentally. <laughs> Backsmasher wants to know, what caused you to start making montages, and why are you so good at them, lol? <laughs> yeah, you just copy and paste it, so it does say lol at the end. Um, really, I think I kind of answered that first part before of what started making montages. That was basically Black Ops. I was able to see that Black Ops allowed yeah. you to do these free 30 second clips and you can ask hate I was always better than your average fucker at fucking like first person online games so. he's been trying to make videos since like having a VCR except like actually cutting things together then was too much of a pain <laughs> yeah, in the ass like... and he just had one VCR instead of the two that you need <laughs> yeah, if I just want to go back to it fucking like me and my old best friend Rocky I still talk to him every now and then I still chill with him but like as a kid like me and him would be best friends like yeah we would actually play like um wrestling or whatever and I would be recording that shit on the VCR and making videos I imagine if I actually looked hard enough there's maybe one tape somewhere around here but I, I've looked a couple times I couldn't find them though but yeah I've been making videos for a while <laughs> why am I so damn good at them cause Lulu's mom taught me <laughs> <laughs> he knows what's up from that fucking show LTW Live, Freak Skeets and Wrestling Fans, be there, be there, be there, Monday night. <laughs> and also listen to Gamehead whenever we upload episodes of that. Yeah, we're, we're going to try to do that every Sunday, hopefully, as long as there's, you know, depending on what how the game news is during the week and whatever the fuck we want to talk about. You know, yeah, me, him, and Fig, Fig Conic, Fig Onic, however you want to pronounce his name. I I'm, I'm pretty sure it's it. Fig Co Inc. Fig, Fig Co Inc. Yeah, Fig Co Inc. Yeah, that's it. Fig, Fig, at Fig Co Inc. The <laughs> it's like, what kind of action Nigga janitor. <laughs> Nigga got in Fucking, um... But yeah, me, him, and Fig are gonna be doing a show every fucking Sunday. This one's gonna be pre-recorded. I edited it together. It's all about game news and our thoughts and ideas and what the fuck ever ideas. <laughs> um, then yeah, we got LTW Live, which is Let's Talk Wrestling Live. We'll be going on about 10.30 every Monday night with me and other people. White Trash, fucking Back Smasher, Kenny Side, Cobra, whoever else. Even Hate might be there one night. You never know, man. It's a crazy world we live in. Yes, it is. Small world, too, bro. But yeah, Lulu's mom taught me how to make them. Yeah, and that's all the information you really need. <laughs> W.A.K. Enigma asks, what's your wish list? Whack. Okay, I'm sorry. What's your wish list for WWE 2K15? It's a fucking, there's another knifing group. It's a whack knifing group. It's like what the other knifers went to or whatever. Like part of our fucking, um, just people went there too at their we quit. <laughs> um, what is my wish list? Okay, um, that disc, that disc, 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 disc. <laughs> More glitches because those are the only ones of those videos. <laughs> yeah, they were the best I videos. <laughs> oh, you know that's going to be this. But, um, okay. Like, small things. I would love to see more fucking weapons from one. Like, if you go back to, like... Like, guns, again, knives. Like, <laughs> yeah, if, again, if you go cocktails. back to, like, No Mercy... Again, you always gotta go mention No Mercy or whatever. You go reach out in the crowd and you pull out stop signs. You can pull out giant blocks of cheese. Don't ask why. Just let it be known it was there. <laughs> <laughs> Alice Snow and Snee Blackman used to be in a group, and, they, and their, their, their tag team name was Head Cheese. Don't ask why, kid, but yeah. <laughs> Um, I would love to see more fucking weapons. I would love to see, um, the creator stuff. Not creator wrestler, because that shit's already awesome. They can add on to it. But, uh, I'd love to be, see the creator stuff become better. Like, the creator finishers, they're, they're each year getting better. Um, creator belt, all that shit. I will, okay, um, season mode wise, like, last year, or the year before that, 2013, you had, um, the WWE Attitude Era, which was the season mode, right? You go through the Attitude Era, do all that shit, that was fucking cool, I, that's the era I grew up in that I mainly, you know, uh, I love that shit. This past year, you had the 30 years of WrestleMania, you went through every single WrestleMania, did at least one match at them, that was cool shit too. 
I would love to see a WCW Monday Nitro era or whatever. They did your Attitude Era. Why can't we go and do the opposite? They own the rights to all this fucking shit. That would be awesome. I, just, yeah. I would love to see everything just be fucking better and more glitches, like you said. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, just a few, few small things. I would love to see a WCW story mode and a lot more weapons. Like, them two things I would love to see. Just keep it like that at a short list. Because, again, I can go on and on about this. Own and fucking own. And most likely I'll end up doing our own single video for this once it starts getting closer to WWE 2K14. 15. Ugh. <laughs> they have announced that they have announced it'll be on Next Generation Systems. So, ugh. Well, you Another kinda, reason why I gotta get a PS4. I saw that coming anyway. But, yeah, it's definitely gonna be a console seller for this guy. Thanks, YouTube. Well, well Kingdom Hearts... And shit like that was already console seller. Then fucking yeah, this shit's gonna be next generation as well. Even if they, I can see them putting it on both consoles though, just because yeah, it's not really a, like um oh yeah a massive market like COD is. I guess you would say. I uh, I don't know. I still think it it probably should they be. They do PC. It, like, maybe not on the Wii U because you know limited risk, but uh, definitely on PS4 and and Xbox One. Oh yeah, because at least if they're happens, moving away from PS3 and 360. Well, if any dates, if it's anything like the other one, it's going to be out by October, November. They already announced it's fucking... They haven't said anything about it, but they have announced 2K15 is official, which we already knew this. Yeah. What I would like to see them do is fucking quit the fucking yearly 2K shit. Or fucking have a different team do something else. Yeah, pull a cod make, and like give them staggered schedules across two or more studios. Yeah, let, let somebody make a completely new one that's kind of based on your old school wrestling shit where it's like hold A to do a strong rap on all that shit and make fucking, you know, WWE Judgment Day or WWE Battlegrounds. You know, take one of the pay-per-view names like they did with No Mercy and do that shit again. Like, do something like that. I would love to see something like that. Loop. Yeah, sorry, Twitter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, again, I could keep on going on about this for a long time, so we'll go ahead and do like I said. Uh, well, you'll jump I'll, off into <laughs> the next question because it's more wrestling. Johnny White yeah. Trask wants to know, WWE, ECW, WCW, ROH, or TNA, which one was the best when it was at its peak? Oh, God. Well, <sighs> If you want to go by ratings and numbers like WWF, personally, I love ECW. I'm a major fan of fucking ECW and at its peak and everything. And yeah, as far as Ring of Honor, I never really got to watch it as it was going on. Most of my Ring of Honor, what watching, it was always past episodes or anything I catch on YouTube and stuff like that. So I can't really say anything about that. Because like I said, I have watched plenty of Ring of Honor. I render like our finding random pay per views from you know, um, U Torrent or something. People don't do that. It's illegal. <laughs> TNA? Wait, there's a peak in TNA? What? Wait, what? <laughs> Whoa. I don't know. TNA was good t shit, too, way back when, like, it first kind of started. Well, when it first got popular on TV, when it was, like, on Fox Sportsnet, that shit was pretty fucking awesome. My favorite, though, I would gotta say ECW. I'm a major fan of ECW. I was always more towards the hardcore wrestling anyways. I guess that's pretty much why I fell in love with Mick Foley. So, yeah, ECW. That's what's up. Personal well, opinion. I'm personal glad opinion, that we uh, record these things in separate components because the Skype call totally just dropped for a second there. I'm glad it. Yeah, I know. I've done. I've done. I've done. Heard you like when you asked a question earlier. You kind of went in and out, yeah, and I didn't say mean. nothing because you're recording your own side, so it doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, same here. Yeah. Anyhow, that counts as an answer to that. All right, moving on. <laughs> sure, why not? What's some more wrestling? <laughs> All night with this wrestling. No, you're going to see a bunch of wrestling crushers in well, this one. Cause, yeah, of course. Doing I way mean, more wrestling nowadays. <laughs> the horse fag is interviewing the wrestle man here. So. Speaking of horse As a matter of fact, this sounds like a sitcom. Why aren't we doing that? <laughs> yeah. That's fucked up. And, and I think the call is gone again. Next question. <laughs> Come on. Can you side? Did a call drop? Because I don't hear shit. Well, you still... You still yeah, I'm still, still going. I'm still going. I, I noticed you right, right just, when you right, dropped. Be just, be, just be quiet for a second, then I'll, I'll come in. Okay. Well, um, the Skype cop... Uh, hold up. <laughs> the Skype cop flopped the dip <laughs> opt. I gotta remember to edit this shit, too. Oh, anyway, people, if I don't edit it out, hopefully I will. The Skype call just dropped. We're still recording, so yeah, we're gonna pick back up. It only dropped for a couple of seconds, so... Um, I might edit that little pause out. I might not. Who fucking knows? 
Anyway, yeah, we, next question is Kenny Sides, bro. So let's yeah. go ahead and jump off into this shits. Yeah, Kenny Side wants to know, what's your earliest memory of a pro wrestling event on TV? And do you remember Glow? Yes, I remember Glow. So, um, before you, uh, uh, like, um, before he asked that, like, literally two days before that, I was watching the Glow documentary on Netflix just because I, I wanted to go reminisce, I guess you would say. Glow stood for Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling. It was a re ladies-only wrestling promotion, like, in the 80s, 90s. Well, it was, like, 80s shit, wasn't it? Uh, my bad, whatever. But um, it was kind of like um a, that skits, too, because the ladies would rap and do all type of shit, but it was women's wrestling only. But, yeah, I love Glow. That was some awesome shit. I actually talked to Little Egypt the other day. If anybody knows Glow, they should know Little Egypt. I talked to her the other day and blah, blah, blah. And, yeah, that's pretty fucking cool. Um, my earliest memories of pro wrestling on TV. Really, I was born watching that shit, man. So, like, I can't. That's It's hard to it say. It all runs together. Like, it really all runs together. Like, I could be I could be like, oh, Hulk Hogan and this, uh, this and this and event. But I wasn't born then. But still, I remember all this shit, you know. Um... Like, my dad was watching it, so I grew up watching it. So, really, any, anything. But me, vividly, I, let's say I start turning about seven, eight years old, like, actually vividly watching it and remembering stuff. I guess you would say, like, WWF, um, 96. That would put me about seven, eight years old right then. 96, 97, probably like then. But I've, I've, I have know everything. I can go back to Frank Gotch. I can go back to fucking... You know, any fucking thing you want. Anything, bro. Fucking Gorgeous George. Fucking anything. I know everything, bro. <laughs> I am the Wrestle God. <laughs> Kiss my feet and I'll tell Bow you down. about it. Whichever obscure match you want to know. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Trouble the Third wants to know, what is your favorite wrestling promotion? I think we kind of answered that in the Johnny White Trash. Um, ECW was definitely a major, major in my shit. Yeah. And WWF was right there too, but ECW. If you actually want to go obscure, anything Japanese. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> all Japan, New Japan, fucking all them weird uh, blood and gut shit. JC, not J. I was about to say JCW. That's Juggalo Championship Wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> Law. Juggalos have their own wrestling, though. Yeah, that, that, that's of awesome. They do. I would, I, I'd probably ECW, though, and WWF is right there. WWF, not E. There's a difference. <laughs> but ECW, fucking, I love that shit. No, yeah. Miss, Go ahead, say your next name. Miss Tip Dick Nemo. <laughs> That's the tip, Miss Tip of Nemo. Nemo. God damn it, I said it wrong. Nemo. 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 You fucked me up. She's been in all my fucking Q and A's. You know her. She just changed her name on Twitter, so I, I just copy and pasted it like that. Ah, well, that's what's up. Yeah. Where do you see your channel in the next five years? What are your three goals this year? And your best highlight and video so far? The next five years, I see me some, doing some Nickelodeon original TV show, <laughs> Pussy Money and Weed, and the one that has a million video views. Was that good enough? Now I'm put playing. I should just leave it at that, too. <laughs> yeah, probably, yeah. <laughs> if, if, if only in the interest of time. <laughs> or just to be fair. um, As far as like seeing my child in the next five years, I hope I'll be big as fuck and... You know, the the best wrestling gaming channel out there. That'd be cool as shit. I don't really plan on stopping any of this. The only way I'm going to stop is if YouTube really forces me to. Or if all my equipment dies and I can never buy anything. But I, just, I, I keep on planning on doing this. I'll, I will hope to be a popular wrestling gaming channel. That's what I'm shooting for. Because I do a lot of wrestling content. And all y'all motherfuckers who've been copying my stream moments. And motherfuckers are like, oh, you didn't, you didn't start that. You didn't create that. Yeah, maybe I didn't start necessarily that, that type of title. And I necessarily didn't start wrestling montages but i put that shit together i was the first one to do it way back in the day and ever since then my father's like oh this nigga's got a million views with this title haha <laughs> let's type it in fuck you <laughs> <laughs> yep that's called plagiarism kids hey but i don't mind because that just that just shows you the influence that, that just that video pets had. my ego <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, there you go. But it just shows you that influence that that video had on fucking a lot of fucking bit people, bro. Like, oh shit. And then I got like over 70 fucking episodes of this shit, too. Yeah. No reason to stop now. And well, I need to come up with a different from title, though. The fact though. that WWE 14 is like a real pain in the ass to work with. Oh, yeah. I, I should do a video where I just show y'all yes, motherfuckers how, how I edit this shit. That way y'all can understand the work that goes into this. Like, like I love that some of y'all people will ask, like, hey, man, can you do, like, one every day or can you do more? Like, I would love to spit more on y'all, but this shit takes hours upon hours to do. Literally, it's not. I don't just 
press record and put shit in a file and render it out. <laughs> no, no, it and that's how motherfucker. If you see a lot of these, uh, the camera and re-recording and then editing frame it all by together. frame, yeah, frame, frame by frame, frame accurate, shit. so it actually looks good for you people. And I do some music syncs. I might not do a lot of them. I do do music syncs, all that shit. And you go see motherfuckers that do these half ass stream moments and everything that are trying to copy me and just copy me. I will point that fucking out. Um, they don't. They just. They just record the match of what's happening. No, I do all my own custom shit. That's why my shit looks a lot better than everybody else's. It's not good enough. Do it again. <laughs> yeah, I love. I, I love them videos. Um, yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Three goals. Pussy money weed. <laughs> I can agree with those. <laughs> Papa Palpatine wants to know who are your favorite <laughs> trash <laughs> talkers of all time on the mic in wrestling. He uh, go go ahead, give their shout out to him. He's the one that made our LTW Live logo and the Gamehead logo that you've seen. That's that's the one who made. He's the one who made that. That face is creepy, dude. I, I love it, dude. <laughs> that's why he loves it because it's freaking creepy, dude. It's like Super Nintendo eyes, Super Nintendo eyes. All right, what was the question again? Who are your favorite trash talkers of all time on the mic in wrestling? The ones that made you stand at attention because you knew it was going to be good. All right, so if we're saying trash talkers, it's got to be a fa- a heel because really, baby faces didn't really do too much trash talking. So heel wise, trash talker, um, dude, Shane Douglas comes to mind. I watch a lot of ECW, and Shane Douglas would get on that motherfucking mic and he would cuss you out and he would tell you to go fuck your mom and whatever. Because ECW, you didn't, they didn't hell back like WWF and everything. So he comes to mind. And if we're going ahead and talk about ECW, New Jack comes to mind. Um. The Rock as a heel, because he was just good on the mic. He would fucking, him being a heel, like, um, doing his John Cena shit, oh, Fruity Pebbles, and all that shit, like, that shit was fucking awesome. I don't know, he, I don't even know if you really consider him a heel then, because people still love him, and people hated John Cena, but really the way the Red Rose are supposed to play. Um, Stone Cold's up there, anything, he, he, like, he's on the motherfucking mic, he can trash talk like some bitch, Triple H can trash talk, but really, Shane Douglas, like, he came to mind first, and yeah, if you go back and watch some of his shit on ECW, that motherfucker, he, yeah, he's pretty bad, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> well, that, that was it for that question, P7, or, I'm sorry, P572B, <laughs> sounds like a fallout weapon. <laughs> He wants Umbra. to know, has there ever been anything that completely changed you? Have you ever seen, read, heard, etc., something from the internet? Actually, we're going to cross that out, just like anything in general, anything that you've absorbed, after which you can say you've never been the same since. That hit of acid? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, hold up. <laughs> um, Maybe not literally absorbed. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Honestly, no, not really. Nothing like profound has ever ca- like happened. Like, oh, I must go seek Jesus now or something. Or <laughs> I heard he's at Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> you wonder why people fucking love our commentary. Some some people anyway. A few of them, <laughs> like two or three of y'all out there. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> yeah. Um. No. Not like I've seen plenty of shit happen. I've seen some. Some fucked up shit happened in my life and all types of shit, but I'm pretty numb to everything, and no, nothing's never really changed. I, mean, I pretty much have been the same person for fuck at least since you know me. Have I have I have I like prof- have I profoundly changed since you fucking know me in the past? What like over ten years? Well, you got a job, <laughs> and that's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck ever next question <laughs> yes that completely changed my life now I'm addicted to crack <laughs> but hey man I have a way to pay for it reject oh, yeah, from man, space <laughs> wants to know what's your most played game as in what game do you go back oh, to the most alright nowadays I don't really go back to games just because there's so much other shit that I need to play. There's so many games on my Steam list that I haven't played, so I don't really go back to games nowadays. Um, but what's my most played game? That's hard to say because as a kid on Nintendo, oh Ooh, god, those games didn't track time, and it's a good I thing know, because it's... oh god, there's no telling how much I put in Super Mario Three or Super Mario World or any Mario for that fucking matter or Duck Hunt. <laughs> Um, literally all them games, like anything back then, I've, oh, there's so many fucking, I couldn't tell you. We're going to break this up in kind of like generations. If we go back to like the, the PS2 type era and shit, that would be Final Fantasy X. <laughs> literally, Close I had second a second being uh, Virtua Fighter 4 Evolution. 
Actually, that one might be ahead of that one. That one never tracked time really either. We played <laughs> the shit out of that game. Yeah. Um, there's plenty of other ones, too, that are up there. Um... I'm trying to think. It just goes off the head for that era. I don't know. But let's just let's go with that one. Now, now, if you go like to this like um last generation, I guess you would say 360 era and all that shit, Fallout, <laughs> fucking Fallout. I'm actually replaying Fallout Three. And because I'm going ahead. So that it's just that good. Well, Fallout Three. And when I say Fallout Three, that includes, that includes New, Vegas. New Vegas. Because frankly, I, it's just an expansion pack. It's a giant, giant expansion pack. Like they used to do on PC. They didn't. They, they released a full fucking game in a box, like on PC. Back I need to expansions. install New Vegas and the mod that allows you to. It like puts a hole in the ground in New Vegas that allows you to travel to the Capital Wasteland. And but honestly, so yeah, cool. but honestly, fucking like Super Mario Bros. and all that shit probably has way more time in it, though. I could probably say that. <laughs> I'd be willing to tell bet you. that, yeah, even <laughs> like the 260 hours that I put in between those two games probably pales in comparison to Mario 3. You know, there's motherfuckers who put like thousands of hours of in, on games nowadays. Oh, like, no. dude, what the fuck? Yeah. Hell, my <laughs> my timer on WoW, like my slash played blew that out of the water <laughs> just because it was that kind of game. Well, I've never really got into no MMOs, so yeah, none of that, that shit. None, yeah. uh, I would love to fucking play the Elder Scrolls Online MMO. I, I, I was, which of course, I'm breaking the NDA by saying this. I was in the beta. I don't know. Might, that NDA might be over by now. Who fucking cares? Whatever. I was in the beta. I liked it. It was cool. I would love to play it when it comes out, but I'm not paying 15 bucks a month for any fucking game for a subscription. Suck my Indian balls. My Native American balls that look like Indian balls. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell they're Native American balls because they live in a teepee and smoke a peace pipe. <laughs> As a matter of fact, they're attached to one. Hey, uh, how you doing? Uh, next question. <laughs> yeah. oh, hey. But actually, as a final addendum to that question, we'll never really know like which retro games got played the most. Yeah, it's probably a retro game, there's, most likely. Yeah, there's just no accounting for the time being wasted a kid back on this and being a kid. Being a kid, you can just sit there for, like, uh, me anyway, I could sit there for hours upon hours as a kid. Nowadays, I had this ADD shit where I can only sit there for, like, 30 minutes to an hour before I have to get up and, like, go do something. Then I can come back a little bit later. Ask Kate. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> Game Master 27 asks, Are you ready for MW4? Do you like she -mails? No and yes. <laughs> Next question. Nah, fuck <laughs> no, man. I'm not ready for MW4. I'm so tired of fucking COD. Yeah, you can I'm see from my channel. Fucking up, Cod. Oh, the, yeah. How how many montages have I put up on my channel of Ghost? Zero. That so does that explain something, something to you? Like, I, okay, I do enjoy playing Ghost. I like it. It's cool. But PC killed it for me. I got the wrong copy of the motherfucker. There's no like. Let's say if me and Hate were to get off this commentary right now and go like, okay, man, man we're gonna go play some Ghost. We couldn't find no fucking matches unless we play Team DM, and we fucking hate Team DM. And even in Team DM, there's probably only like you know four or five hundred people. If that. Yep. So, yeah. No, I'm not really ready for it. I would much rather it. a shemale right now than my PC copy of COD Ghost. So, just at, put that out there. At this point in moment, no, I do not see me purchasing the next COD when it comes out at the end of this year or whatever. At this point in moment, I don't see it. Unless they fucking do something that blows it out the fucking water. Yeah, and the God's honest is that they're not. And the only no. way to teach Activision a lesson at this point is to stop purchasing the games until they fucking fix them. Pretty much. I'd rather fucking see what Halo's gonna do next, or fucking pick up Destiny, or fucking Titanfall, all this other multiplayer shit, all these different multiplayer games. Hell, even BF4, something that's gonna be supported. If they fix it eventually, there's there's another bug going around that's doing shit that we can talk about in Game Head. Yeah, go fucking figure. But yeah, yeah that's a patches. conversation for Sunday. And do I like she -mails? I don't know. Is it, is it fucking, is it, is it April yet? No, not no, quite. No. But it is a Friday. Does that count? <laughs> If it's April, maybe. Yeah. It depends. It's April O'Neil. Never mind. Did Jesus D123... <laughs> <laughs> he asks... Or she, I don't know. I don't discriminate. Some others are which extreme moments are your favorites. <laughs> 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 Which game, other I just, extreme wrestling moments are your favorites? What's your favorite game ever? And how old are you? Um, Just because of view count... The one, the, the 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 SmackDown versus Raw Extreme Moments 2011 one, just because it's got over 1.2 million views. Haha, -ha, number dropping right there, bitch. What? Um, some of my specials, like um, uh, think episode, the last episode, WWE 13, that one was pretty fucking awesome. 
the two that I've got other people to edit for me, um, them were fucking awesome. Again, I don't really know numbers off the top of my head because I made oh, so many of these motherfuckers. Um, now we're gonna go skip. We're gonna go. How old am I? I am twenty. I'll be twenty five this year. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! Knock the mic. But yeah. 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 No. August, I'll, I'll, August first, I'll be twenty five. So yeah, yeah we did the uh, favorite game ever thing in like the last video. So go check that out. It really is. It's, it's hard to say too because, God, it's so many different eras. Yep. Again, it kind of goes back to most play games. You got like Super Mario Bros. three from back then, like your Final Fantasies and shit, and Virtual Fighters and shit, and play like and and Fallout. Definitely, if you want to go to last generation, Fallout. We'll just we'll just keep yeah. it at that Fallout. Now, favorite game ever? I, I I can't say that. I cannot say favorite game ever just because. No, Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, but probably Mario Three if he had to mumble out an answer. Yeah, 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 definitely. Jumbo X Mumbo. I just have to pronounce the X. Snicked, <laughs> snicked. If you were a professional wrestler, what would your finisher be called? Comma question mark question mark. <laughs> The pain train. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, the pain train. Why not? <laughs> you remind um, me of a moment from Project Horizons. Did you the really disaster to blaster? Call yourself the pain train. <laughs> the disaster blaster. The um. The ghetto the house of pain. <laughs> the ghetto constipator. The Mexican eliminator. Um. <laughs> the pain train. We keep on going, man. <laughs> As a matter of fact, shit, that's, that's what's great about wrestling finishers, because you can just take a move and call it what the fuck ever. The Dirty Sock. <laughs> the Dirty Sanchez. Oh, oh, yeah. no, that's not a wrestling move. <laughs> well, that's, the, it can that's be. mommy and daddy oh. wrestling. Oh, snap. But yeah, man, we keep on going about that. And if I was a wrestler, and if I could choose a name, even though it's kind of... Uh, uh, named T Bone because yeah, that's been my wrestling name on all my characters since I was a kid, and I actually got that tatted on my arm, tat tat tatted up. I might get that covered up one day, but actually, it's in old English. I don't think I've ever showed that tattoo off. <laughs> I know I've showed the other one off. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, I think you should actually have it filled in instead of just T Bone. You should have it like added on each side to say not boners. <laughs> <laughs> Or something like that. <laughs> That's fucked up. Now I want to keep it because I still go by that when I'm doing the wrestling shit. But honestly, I go by terrible pain. So if I was to get like a nickname on my arm, it should be that nowadays. But uh, that that's old shit. I got this tattoo before I was fucking 18. God, it hasn't really been that long. Then again, we've known each other for more than a decade now. So Yeah, I know. It's fucking... It's like the year 2014. What we first fuck? pretty much met at a party over at this at the place or whatever. And, yeah, that's pretty much where we got together. And we was all drunk as shit. And everybody else is fucking dumb as shit. And me and him figured out we like video games a lot of shit in common. So we started playing video games so while being drunk. let's go get trashed over here with the PlayStation where it's cool. <laughs> where it's yeah. fucking awesome. Let's stay away from the people that are fucking like, doing Jaeger bombs. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm already fucking plastered, guy. Vir what's a Virtua Fighter? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, this game sucks. I remember that, you first thought you played yeah, like, this Yeah, the first sucks. time, you, know, you fucking wailed on me for like 15 matches. <laughs> what is, yeah, you're playing to get used to And it's like, like my play. first time, and he has owned this game for, you know, a couple of months. So he's got a serious edge. So I buy this game. I'm playing the shit out of it. It's like one of the first things I ever eBayed. I actually you know, started becoming competent at it. Now you watch us fight in Virtua Fighter. It looks like some Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon shit. We can put on some fucking moves. Yeah, definitely. If you, if you, me and him actually sit there and try to play, and like I, I pick Lei Fan, he picks whoever, or he picks Lei Fan, I pick yeah. whatever. Like, you can see some badass matches go down. Like, we'll put it on five rounds and literally come down to the last fucking round. And, like, the whole... And it just looks really stylish because we know all the fucking moves and shit. Practically. Not so much anymore. Not... But they'll, but it'll come back to us as we're playing. Yeah. Like, it usually does. Yeah. yeah. If, you, if I sit there for a couple hours, I'll be like, Like, oh, the windmill yeah. palm and shit. Like, I remember all that shit. We need... We, we, need, we, know, um, we need to actually I, do an episode of that. We need to... I want to... I'm, I'm getting to the point where I want to play, play more Grand Theft Auto online again. Mm. And yeah, then we could fucking do some Virtual Fighter VFS or whatever. Like, actually playing that would be enough, maybe, to get me to buy a couple of months of Xbox Live Gold. See if I can't well, ruin a couple I need more to months it. of life out of this thing. 
I need to do it just because I need to get some more community creations because there are some better ones nowadays and I can't go on WWE 2K14 downloading it without gold. I want to do some Grand Theft Auto Online because there's been a couple updates and so there's another update coming and next week is going to give us some different cards, some different weapons. It's like the business update or whatever. And yeah, some Virtual Fighter would be cool to play too. Word. Yeah, fuck not. Well, like, what was this? What this question what was? What started this? Yeah. <laughs> if you were a professional wrestler, what would your finisher be called? Yeah. And now we're talking about virtual fighter. <laughs> I love our answers. <laughs> <laughs> My finishing move would be called the Wolfhawk Field. I will suplex you. I'm sorry. You will get suplexed. <laughs> I love that about that game. You have your fight messages. <laughs> Some speed is all I need. You slut. <laughs> like I remember these these stick out in my head because they were just I so know. brilliant <laughs> old I don't, I don't even just, I just they're doing random shit too so what would he say sure what I w you will get suplexed <laughs> just, we're just going off people don't even know what the fuck <laughs> we're talking about <laughs> if you did you'd be feeling the warm fuzzies <laughs> right now serious <laughs> uh, Matt I mean, just close. Matt by the way yeah it's because you blame that because Google Plus you could change your name to anything you want to no, so, so I don't really know so what's real boy is just Matt yeah real descriptive you, there <laughs> I'm gonna call you Doormat Doormat wants to know did you ever backyard wrestle and what was your earliest member, memory of wrestling we already did that one so did you ever backyard <laughs> yeah. wrestle um Actually, yeah, kind of, sort of, yes. We did backyard wrestle. We like uh, a couple of friends of us early days. We would get down the yard and do and hit each other before whatever. But really, um, I think we did more boxing than backyard wrestling. We would literally get we would put on the fucking gloves in the backyard and we would knock each other fucking out. Um, we used to do trampoline wrestling and shit like that. I remember one day doing something, something happened. And I got kicked in the fucking eye. And my eye just swelled up big and black and horrible looking. It's like, yeah, I'm a wrestler. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking hard now. But as far as actually like, oh, we like we didn't actually like start some backyard organization. It was just a couple friends that did it every now and then when we was fucking bored as shit when we visited each other, you know. But it wasn't actually like, oh, every Friday, you know, we wrestle at the Thunder Danger Dome thingy. <laughs> <laughs> Thunder wrestling at the Danger Dome, which is one of those uh, one of those big parachute tents over my trampoline. I always loved the head trampolines with like the like the, the cages. You remember them? Yeah, it had, yeah. It was really it was really a cage, but you know it was like a net thing. Yeah, it was like, like oh yeah, we're having a net <laughs> yeah. It's like oh god, we are having a cage match tonight. <laughs> so you climb up to the top of the net, get your leg tangled up, crack your teeth on the bar of the. Bring us weapons and shit. Fuck right. We did that, but it was more just friends for dicking off. It wasn't really like an organization back on wrestling. Yeah, like the five-year-old wrestling league. Well, hell, I remember being like, I remember being a kid and being all into that shit and being in the living room or being in bat and whatever and wrestling pillows and wrestling my wrestling buddy on the, on the living room floor doing suplexes to him while watching wrestling. Fucking right. But I was a kid. You can do that shit as a kid and not be judged. So fucking. Now, if I was doing it nowadays, yeah. it'd be a lot different. Freak. <laughs> yeah. That sucks. I can't go sit there and play with my with wrestling action figures without being judged nowadays. <laughs> Not unless you're taking pictures of them and like making. Yeah, I know. I thought about doing that, stop doing motion. some stop motion. I, was like, I thought about doing that because there's, there's, I've seen plenty of YouTube videos yeah, like that. That'd be good. cool to do. Just yeah, so long yeah. as you can hold your camera still. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, get a stand. <laughs> I would say it's called a tripod, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's not not my hands, but yeah. Anyway, Figco Inc. asks if wrestling Fig. completely went away. What would be your alternative? Suicide. Ritual dance. <laughs> yeah, just yeah, ritual dance. I actually no, I think this, the peace go, this calls back to like what would be what would happen if you never played video games? Arson. <laughs> yeah, lots of arson. <laughs> it's like he'd, he'd be singling out a minority or something. It's, yeah, it's, that's really hard to say because I've been watching it since I can remember. So, whoa. And it's never going to completely go away. They'd probably it's, be running some kind of gay-ass fandom radio stream. Put this way, it, it will never go away. Wrestling has been around since the ages of man or whatever, you know, back in cave days, wrestling for bears, <laughs> food. Abraham Lincoln used to wrestle. He was on the battlefield, and he'd wrestle a different dude who'd like become like the sergeant of the team or what the fuck ever, or some dumb shit. And this is like actually grappling and making a nigga tap the fuck out. That's still fucking wrestling. Wrestling started back in the carnival days, the carny days, like the wrestling we know, and when they actually, you know, fake them out and make money off that shit. Carny days, son. Carny days. 
I'm a fucking book of wrestling. I need to write a book. <laughs> and, it, and all the weird words would be like, d- 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 wrestling. Actually, that should be your next tattoo. In Latin, I am a book of wrestling. <laughs> In pig Latin? No, just, what? just regular Latin. Yeah, yeah. Look, Don't we have one more question? <laughs> a, S wrestling A. See, it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. Now we have one more question, bro, from you. Yep, Limitless Hate. Hey, that is me. He <laughs> wants to know, if your house was on fire, what one personal item would you save? Well, only grab one item. It doesn't matter. One item, huh? One item. Just one. All right. I, I, okay. So, I can't necessarily show a picture of this. if I, if I don't have no camera. I wish if I did, I, I'll throw it up on the screen. I can't. I have this little bitty, I guess you would say pony. And no, I'm not a brony. He's adorable. <laughs> I've been having this little pony stuffed animal thing since I was born. And I have it up here on my shelf by my Indian statues and stuff. And my other Indian statue that's holding in uh, a Captain American shield. Don't ask why. This my Indian statues are also... This stuffed horsey thing is seriously almost Twilight Sparkle tier cute. And that bitch is it's literally it's older than I am. And yeah, I, would, yeah, I, I don't want to lose that. I would love to grab that. Now, if it wasn't that, I would I would probably have a knife in my hand and, yeah, cut all the wires on my PC and grab the main PC. <laughs> Why the fuck not? But, yeah, I would say that little bitty pony stuffed animal horse thing I have. It's old as shit, and, yeah, it's it's very sentimental to me. And I still fucking have it to this day. I don't have many things that I had as a kid, even older as a kid. Like, I, I, I miss out on a lot of shit. We moved a bunch of places. Oh, no, I probably moved, like, um... Eight or nine times as a kid. That's per, that's a lot of times that if you want to think about times. it. And every yeah. time anyone moves, they lose shit doubly so as a kid because your parents and we always, just decide, hey, you don't need that. Yeah. And then I was always going back and forth to Arkansas too, going stay with my dad because my mom and dad divorced when I was like two or three years old. Blah blah whatever. So I always go back and forth up there. So I always lose shit, go back and forth, and I always lose shit, you know, moving and yeah. All throughout the years, I missed a lot of shit, but this one item. I've kept, or my mom has kept around, and, um, I got it from my mom, like, um, I don't know, four or five months ago, when I seen it, she had it, I was like, oh, can I take that, cause I guess, cause, yeah, I wanna, I wanna display it in my room, she's like, yeah, go ahead, so fucking, I took that shit to my place, and yeah, we've been fucking displaying it, it's up there, must Indian shit, man, it seriously is an adorable little pony, yeah, mainly just cause sentimental, but yeah, if not that, the computer, like I know, like like you said, like it'd be hard to take the whole computer if all the wires are here. But just cut all the wires, just take it. We can replace all the wires later. <laughs> yeah, and all of its peripherals. Just give me the workhorse. For I you, I shit. especially understand it because that's your livelihood. Like I've got so much work on that motherfucker saved. Like like let's say if my channel was to go down, like I got all my stream moments and shit still on this motherfucker. Actually, no, I have I have backed up a lot of them on disc. So yeah, I would like to grab them discs too. <laughs> <laughs> That's cheating. <laughs> and I would grab the if I had one more item, maybe maybe See, that. If I were MS- Quasimodo, the Hunchback of Notre Dame, and was like retard strong, I'd just like go rip the floor up and take the whole room with me. <laughs> just like take that giant shelf that has everything displayed on it. Take that. Uh, I want that tag team copy. That that copy of the MS DOS sealed copy of Tad Team Pro Wrestling. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm just like totally feeling the adrenaline rush and just going ape shit. <laughs> Like Hulk but yeah, the fuck if, up. if I only had a chance to grab one item and one item only, it would be, it would be that stuffed animal horse. Yeah, why not? It means a lot. Well, on that poignant note, that is the end of our list of questions. Are there any other closing remarks you'd like to make to your seven thousand erstwhile colleagues? Um. Smoke, 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 smoking weed, smoking weed, doing coke, drinking, drinking beers, beer, drinking, drinking beers, 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 beers. Rolling fatty, smoking blunts. Who smokes, Who smokes the, the blunts? blunts? We smoke the we blunts. We smoke the blunts. <laughs> Rolling blunts and smoking. Uh, Fifteen bucks, little <laughs> man. Put that shit in my head. If that money doesn't show, then you owe me, owe me, owe. My jungle This love. video has been copyright oh, claimed oh, by oh, Smartcast. Oh. <laughs> No, actually, check this out. I I should put this. I should put this link up. Um, I, I don't know if I can find it again. I found the. I found the. I, I love Kevin Smith. I always, he's a good talker. So I was watching some interviews on him the other night, and he did this interview with one dude, and he actually talked about that YouTube, the YouTube shit going on. He's like, I have friends in the YouTube community who are getting smashed by these copyright claims and all this shit. He actually knows what's going on in the YouTube community. That's awesome, bro. What other celebrity or something knows what's going on inside our community? I can Tim. not think of any because most of he, them are my real bad, people. My bad. 
and he thinks that all that all that content ID claim shit that was happening was bullshit. Like he he explained it too. He's like, yeah, some of the you know some of the gaming companies are even coming out and backing these YouTubers up and all this stuff. He's like, I know YouTubers who make who, their livelihood on this stuff and all these games. Yeah, he was talking about that shit. And that that just amazed me that he came out there and knew everything that was going on in our community. He knew that all that copyright ID claim and all that shit was going on, and he was with us. Like that was awesome. I, I thought that was fucking sweet as shit. <laughs> My jungle love. <laughs> well, oh, anybody oh, with any vested interest in YouTube or social media of this kind, specifically video content, is going to have an opinion in favor of the YouTuber. Yeah. But fuck, he has his own YouTube channel too. Even though, like, that's just left over all the content from Smodco and shit because of their main channel or um, their website. Yeah, definitely um, love listening to their podcast. Fucking, um,. They got so many podcasts on that goddamn channel, but yeah, mainly this them, him and um, Ralph Garner. What the fuck is that ch- ch- show called? Shit, I forget off the top of my head now. I love, that. I definitely love that one. That's a good one. Get all the wrestling fucking podcasts. Yeah. Anyway, people, <laughs> this has been your seven thousand Q and A video. I thank you very much for. I, I should have said all that at the beginning of the, co- at the, at the, beginning of the commentary. Cause I don't know how many people last this <laughs> long. <laughs> But yeah, I do Poor thank bastards. you very much for watching all my content, for liking videos, for disliking videos, for leaving good and negative content uh, comments. <laughs> I, I, I'm happy for all that shit. I'm glad that I've made it this fucking far. And yeah, let's um, let's push for 10K now. <laughs> well, they're coming. And oh yeah, it's coming. Just keep making videos, and yeah, it doesn't look like you're you, stopping now. <laughs> as long as YouTube doesn't kill me, man, I'm going to go do it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> If World of Warcraft could do it to Koreans, then maybe YouTube could do it to you. Uh, usually I go to bed for a couple hours, too, man. <laughs> That's, well, there is that. But again, thank you all. Thank you very much. It has been fucking awesome ride thus far, and I hope to still be hey, here in five more years, like old girl said. If we're still entertaining people, if if you're still sitting here at the end of this video, giggling away at us two jokers, recording this at 424 in the morning, there's go you know we got we like I know a couple of friends that definitely will listen all the way through just cause, yeah <laughs> but yeah you guys to... but if y'all are entertained then mission complete job done now the question is what am I gonna do for video footage are they just gonna make this a podcast and just overlay image most likely because it's got so fucking long we need to just find like the most random photos you can. Dude, go look at the game head, fucking... I, I put random photos... There's Dragon Ball Z photos on that video. I do need to go kick that a <laughs> like and a fave and comment and smear my yeah, shit just, all over the walls and draw a pentagram on the floor and, you know, chant the dark runes. While you're at it, go check out LTW Live as well. Chicken, arise. Yeah. Arise, chicken. Chicken, rise. arise. Chicken. <laughs> Come on now, chicken. <laughs> do it, do it good. <laughs> Come on now, chicken. Arise, chicken. Yes. What about the re- BillyWitchDoctor.com re- have one convenient locations. What about Africa. the greased up, uh, greased up retard or whatever? Can't you do him as well? Or no, the, the um, dude who like the old man who likes little boys. No, no, I can't do a Herbert really good. It's the whistle. I can't do the whistle. <laughs> I can kind of do the voice <laughs> a little bit. Basically, I can just imitate Dusty Rhodes. But let me tell you something, baby. Uh-huh. <laughs> We've been through some hard times. <laughs> Now y'all listen here, Sugar Cube. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> again, thank you very much. We're gonna go ahead and get out this. That way we can go watch the original Charlotte's Web. Um, Masturbate. Yeah. <laughs> I thought we was about to bust down to a song. Masturbate. Oh. <laughs> Masturbate. It feels great. It'll keep you up real late. <laughs> In the sky, it's reading rainbow. <laughs> God, we can just sit here and just randomly say shit for the next hour and keep on recording. Yeah, yeah. Like, we do this when we're not fucking recording anyway. Pretty much. This is, I can't imagine <laughs> just how many hours we've wasted just saying words to each other. Dude, if we had... If, that'd be awesome. If we, had, we would've had, like, all of our conversations recorded over Skype. Like, that'd be some That awesome would be videos. its own YouTube <laughs> channel. Yeah, Definitely. Speaking of our own YouTube channels, that shit we started the other... We need to do that. Yeah, we, we definitely don't need, to, need to do that. Don't we need, need to actually... Don't need to talk about it, though, right stuff here. stuff to do regarding it and do it. Because it might not ever happen, so we don't need to talk about it right here. But, yeah. <laughs> Another thing we need to do, we need to get footage for our other top ten we already fucking commentated. Yeah. Like, a month ago. Yeah, a month. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Shit takes time, YouTube. Shit takes definitely. time. Oh, my belly's starting to grow. A little bit. 
Mm, yeah, definitely. Well, yeah, like we Katie, said, four thirty in the morning. It's <laughs> We're time to going. bring this to a, a crashing halt, if need be. Yep, yep, yep. And Bruce right, Willis, people. this motherfucker, right off the mm. tracks, like unbreakable. <laughs> All right, people. Thank you very much for asking these questions. Thank you very much for watching my content. Thank you, hate, for being the host of these motherfucking things. And uh, yeah. As always, we are out. This bitch. Little people. Maniac till I die. A duck's stuck on the ride. Them bumble clots pop and lip. All my infidels can die. Now, fuck goes my nine. One nation till I die. Fuck them all, I'll be outlawed, bitch. Yes, this is my line. And I do it on the grind. And I grind daily. Oh, yes, I do this for the sisters and the